Hey guys, it's Elaine, the Ninja Life Coach, and welcome to my channel today. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing this human hair wig. So sit back, grab yourselves a cup of coffee. I'll be right back. Hey everybody, I'm back. Now this wig is an Amazon wig. I was sent this wig by an Amazon vendor. This is a human hair wig. I'm gonna pull up the specs and we're gonna take a look at this. Then I'm gonna take this head wrap off and I'm gonna show you what's underneath this. The reason I put this on is because I haven't cut the lace, I haven't done any of the baby hair stuff yet and I wanted to, I didn't wanna come on camera immediately like that and scare you all to death. So here we go, let's look at the specs. It says wigs for black women, human hair, lace front wigs, pre-plucked with baby hairs. It is 100% density, Brazilian straight lace closure, human hair wigs, natural highlight, hairline. So let's look down in the description box and see what it says with this about this wig. Um, this says that it is a straight lace front wig, human hair pre-plucked, glueless, four by four human hair wig. As the wig feels, this wig, the fibers and the hair on this wig feel really, really good. It is nice and soft. And this wig right now, today, is um, on Amazon for um, $94.99, which is a decent price for a human hair wig. I mean, that's a really good price. Now, most of your human hair wigs that you're going to get are going to be um, an upper end type of wig, like 800 on up to the multi-thousand dollar wig. So if you're wanting a little bit of a cheaper option for human hair wig, you might want to take a look at this and see if this is something that you might be interested in. Now this wig is very long and straight. This is 20 inches and you know, I'm, I'm really pleased with the feel of this hair. This hair feels really, really good. It isn't coarse. It's very silky and very very soft initially right out of the box and i have basically just taken this out of the package and plopped it on my head so i'm looking at the product description um this says um medium brown but this is pretty pretty dark i don't think there's a there's some brown in it but it isn't it's not really extremely brown there's a lot of dark in this wig. There are a few highlights in it that you can see out in the sun. Um, so, here it is. Now, let me turn around. Let me let you see the wig all the way around. Here it is. I know I have been reviewing a lot of long, dark wigs lately, and I'm sorry about that, but that is simply what the vendors have been sending me. So, I've got a couple more. I've got one more dark wig, and then I've got a long blonde wig that I'm going to review, and I'm going to take a break from that just a little while um, because there's only so many of these that I can review before my brain just gets in overload, and they all start kind of running together after a while. So this wig says it is 100% human hair. Um, it says you can tell them by burning the hair and smelling... Um, <laughs> I don't know who would do that, but I will say this I, this has no feel of being synthetic. This does not feel like a synthetic wig. I believe this is 100% human hair. Um, so it looks like so far everything has hit the specs. Now I'm getting ready to take off this and I'm going to show you what's underneath this and then I'm going to go style it and I'm going to do the baby hairs and I'm gonna go through all that and we're gonna take a look at that. So let's take a look at what's underneath this. <laughs> Y'all, I'm gonna be scared. Now the lace goes from here to here and then it ends. I have honestly never, and you can see my biological hair right there. I'm sorry, y'all. Um, Hold on, let me adjust this just a second because I think I've just about pulled the wig off messing with this. I would say this wig cap is not overly large, but I do not have it cinched in either. But here is the lace frontal right there. So this is something that I'm gonna have to cut right here and cut all the way across and then lay down these, <laughs> these little baby hairs. Um, I am not sure how to do that very well because I don't know that I have, I, I have reviewed one other wig that had these types of baby hairs. And 
honestly, I actually ended up cutting them off because I didn't think it looked really natural on me. So when I come back, I'm gonna have the lace cut and I'm gonna have the baby hairs laid down. And I may curl the ends of this wig just a little bit. She's really straight. So I like a little bit more curl in my long wigs if I'm gonna wear a long wig because I normally wear them in an updo, but I think this would be really cute to pull into an updo. I think this would be cute. Now let me turn around again. Let me let y'all see the back. Y'all, to be honest, I feel like I need to be singing Elvira. Elvira. Okay, now y'all, before I get too happy with this wig, let's look at the inside and let's see what's in here. She is a closed cap wig. So you're not gonna have any of the wefts or any of the hair pulling through or anything like that. And that's pretty good. Um, if you like that on your human hair wig, you're not have, gonna have to worry about that. There are combs in the back to hold it down to your, you know, below your occipital bone. I need that, I like that. There are combs on the sides here too. See that? And this is the way the lace front looks. Looks right like that. Let me pull that in and let you see. Now, I think I'm gonna have to put some concealer underneath that to kind of hide those knots a little bit, but I am just gonna style this wig just a little bit and let you know. Now, there is a lace, the part, it goes all the way back. So you can part this like that over on the side and you can see how that goes all the way back and you're not gonna be able to see that. I really like that. Um, so that's gonna give you a more natural look and you can, it goes, looks, it, it you know, a pretty good expanse right in there. So you should be able to part it on either side and extends all the way back to the crown of the wig. So when I come back, I'm gonna be messing around with this wig a little bit more. Be right back. Okay, so here I am after I have kind of messed with these baby hairs and I use some of that got to be glued down here on the front to kind of get it in place. I will say that the lace was a bit of a challenge for me to cut. There was a seam that ran right here from here to here. So you're gonna have to cut that off um, because I didn't cut it off at first. And I was like, what is that humpy little thing? Well, it was the way the lace was sewn in, but it's okay. I got I cut it off and everything's fine. So, um, but here it is with the little baby hairs. Um, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back in here and I'm gonna try to do a few curls in here, especially right up here at the top. I'm gonna try to get it a little bit curlier. So when I come back, hopefully this wig will be a little curlier and will look a little bit better on me because you know I realize this is not my best look. I, I try to accommodate my vendors as best I can. And if they want me to review this wig, I will review the wig. Um, even though I know, I, you know, I'll tell them right up front, I don't think I'm going to be the best representation for that, but I'll be happy to review it for you and make you a little video. So, I like this. I think it's cute. So, let me go style it a bit. I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. So, I went in and I curled just a little bit right here around my face. I curled a few little tendrils here because I'm getting ready to put this up in a, an updo and see how it does with an updo. But, Honestly, I think this wig, if you wanted to start somewhere with a human hair wig, I don't think this would be a bad place to start because the price point is good at $94.99 and you could see if you actually liked fooling with human hair wigs. Now, human hair is not something I normally mess with and this is two human hair wigs I've reviewed here lately. Um, but we'll just see how these hold up over time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an updo real quick and I'm gonna come back and show you how to style some wigs just real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so I took the wig and I just pulled it back, back in a little bit of a low ponytail and I just kind of flipped it inside out. So here it is styled just a little bit. Here it is. Now, I didn't do a lot to this. I, that's basically all I did. So I'm gonna do a couple more things to this and I'm gonna be back. Okay, so something else I did just to get some of the hair out of my face right in here is I just simply clipped it up in the back like this. Just like in a half pony. And gave myself just a little bit of a lift right in here. So let me do a couple more things. I'll be right back. One thing I did notice about the wig that I did want to make sure that I mentioned is um, there was a minimal amount of shedding 
on this wig. The wig did not shed very much at all. And I did do a few little cuts right into here, right around the, the face to, you know, frame my face just a little bit more. I did do that uh, after I styled the wig. But, you know, even though I am not really familiar with human hair, I actually like this wig. I think it feels good. Um, the fibers are truly very, very soft on this wig. The wig curled really easily. When I curl those little tendrils right in here, the wig curled really easily. I think if you're going to style this wig into a curly fashion, you're going to need one of those curling curling irons that um, that you wrap the hair around the, the rod, and I don't have one of those. So, um, it was a little bit more difficult to do, or one of those brushes that you can that you can brush and make the big beachy waves in your wig. Um, I don't have either one of those, but by golly, this may tempt me into getting one. Okay, so here's a different style of ponytail that I did with this. So let me turn around, let me let you see this. I put a rubber band or a I put a hair tie right here and then another one right here at the nape. And you can always pull out some little hairs right down here at the bottom if you want to. Um, but I think this is cute. I really like this. This is a lot of fun. So let me do one more thing and I'll be right back. Okay, so this time I had just simply put on a just a simple headband. And I have played with these baby hairs so much that they're coming loose from my head. So I think we're going to have to call it a day on this one. But I do think that the wig is worth is worth the money. Um, it's not overly expensive. It's the price point is good. I think to have something to learn about human hair and to play around with, I think this wig would be a good option for that, like I said before. Um, let me turn around one more time and let me let you see this. The thing about human hair that every human hair wig that I have ever gotten, every one of them, without fail, that I've seen or that I have gotten, I have had to get used to the ends tapering off just like real hair because in the in synthetic wigs, it, it doesn't really do that. So that's been one thing that's been a learning curve for me with these long human hair wigs is as the hair gets towards the end, the hair thins out just like, you know, your natural hair. And that's been kind of like a, oh, moment for me. <laughs> so... Anyway, listen, you guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day. I have certainly enjoyed playing with this. When you all get an opportunity, like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and check out all my stuff down in the description box. I hope you all have a glorious day. God bless you all. Maranatha, folks. Bye-bye. Love you guys.